Guys, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video, especially if you're an Oklahoma State fan or a better, yeah, better yet, a Baylor fan. I promised a fan that I was going to, um, not really a fan, but a subscriber on my channel, that I would make a um, Baylor-Oklahoma State game prediction for this year. So here it goes. This game is in Baylor. They're both going to be top 15 quality teams. They're both really good defensively. Uh, both have what it takes to be really good offensively this year. Uh, the problem with Oklahoma State is their offensive line did not block Baylor very well last year in either game, especially the Big 12 championship game with that, uh, that they went to. And Spencer Sanders, even though he's a very productive quarterback, he can throw the football well, he's good with his legs and all that, and all that. he has way too many interceptions. And you look back at the first game that they had, they played twice, by the way. You look back at the first game that they had in the regular season, Oklahoma State pulled away with that game. With a bunch of turnovers from Spencer Sanders. Uh, they played again. Again, he had turnovers. And the offensive line couldn't block. Baylor didn't turn the ball over. That was the difference, you know. I think when they uh, play again this year, and it's in Baylor, I think uh, Mike Gundy, he's a really good head football coach. You know, He knows what he's doing. He's got over 100 wins in his career. Uh, he's just coming off a Fiesta Bowl win. Fiesta Bowl, right, over Notre Dame. Um, he had 12 wins this past year, beat Oklahoma, uh, finished in the top 10, right? But, uh, I just think Dave Aranda is taking Baylor where they were when he first got there. They weren't, they were pretty good, I guess. So they went to a Sugar Bowl in 2019, lost to Georgia. 2020, COVID year, this past year, won the Sugar Bowl against Ole Miss without Corral, they probably would have lost that game. But I still think that they're going upward. So, I think Baylor should win this game at home. They should win this game uh, just because Spencer Rattler, not Spencer Rattler, Spencer, Spencer Sanders, excuse me. He's a yeah, but, uh, very productive quarterback. But again, the turnovers. You know what I mean? And he had the same problem in 2020. So, I don't think that's going to be cleaned up enough to beat someone like Baylor who's going to have a really good pass rush. Somebody who's good at stopping the run. Somebody who's good at blowing up offensive lines that really isn't... Uh, I can't say it's a bad offensive line, but really isn't necessarily the strength of their team either. So, again, I'll have to go with Baylor in this game. Pretty much similar to the Big 12 championship game. I think Baylor will... But I think it'll be lower scoring. I think Sanders might play better than that game. He still will have another interception, at least two in this game, at most. Uh, Oklahoma State's running game was pretty decent last year for the most part, but when they played Baylor, they couldn't really do much. It had to be with Spencer Sanders making some big throws when he went and throw picks and penalties from Baylor's defense So and kicking field goals. I think this is going to be a um, score prediction. A lot of field goals in this game. But because I think Baylor will be the more disciplined teams in terms of team, excuse me, not teams, in terms of penalties and in terms of turnovers, I think they play a, a cleaner football game, something like seventeen to thirteen, something real low scoring. I think Oklahoma State, State will score a touchdown. Baylor will score two touchdowns. They'll both have a, a couple of field goals here and there. Uh, it's going to be a very low yardage game. You might see a total of five hundred yards of offense altogether in this game. Maybe a little bit more or less, depending on what happens. But I think the Baylor Bears should win this game.